hope is in a very dark place. Thursday, February 24th. We've got to take care of our own before we lose anybody else. Now that she's a vampire, just imagine how annoying heretic me will be. Legacies. New episodes return Thursday, February 24th, only on The CW. Don't miss Two Sentence Horror Stories this Sunday at 9, 8 central, only on The CW. Now at 10, high drama in North Hollywood. A murder suspect in custody tonight following a police pursuit and a dramatic standoff involving tear gas. More trouble for the world's largest concert promoter tonight. The family of slain L.A. rapper Draco. The ruler is adding to mounting claims against Live Nation. Their accusations against the company that's already facing a number of lawsuits. Plus, a local emergency in some SoCal cities. Another round of wild wind is expected to whip already battered neighborhoods. We're tracking Mother Nature's threat now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Olman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news in South L.A., where the northbound side of the 110 freeway is shut down after gunfire erupted on the freeway. This comes just one day after a driver was shot in the face on the 5 freeway. Gil Levis overhead in Sky 5. Gil. Mike and Cher, we're looking at the California Highway Patrol doing an unusual search here on the 110 freeway. That's northbound lanes you're looking at here with two rows of uh, squad cars. The first one here just south of Manchester and the backup is all the way to the 105 freeway. They are re uh, doing this uh, because of reports of shots fired on the freeway. They issued a signaler just before 9 o'clock tonight, shutting down all lanes of the northbound 110 freeway from the 105. And you're seeing the uh, spotlights there, the vehicles searching the entire stretch of that freeway here from one side to the other. They do have uh, some of the, trans well, actually now all the transition roads to the northbound 110 from the 105 shut down as well. But you see the backup here as they search for any kind of evidence of shots fired on the freeway. We don't see any vehicles that are on the side of the road that may have been involved in a shooting, and we have yet to hear word from the California Highway Patrol if there were any injuries uh, at all. But again, the uh, 110 freeway is shut down in uh, all lanes here from the 105 to Manchester as they search for any evidence of shots fired on the freeway. That's the very latest overhead in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Gil, thank you. Breaking news now in North Hollywood, where police have a murder suspect in custody after a pursuit turned into a standoff. We've learned the suspect barricaded himself inside a shed in someone's backyard. Rick Chambers live in North Hollywood with details. Rick. Yeah, Micah, we're on Agnes Avenue here in North Hollywood, just off the 170 freeway, actually. It was LAPD gang and narcotics officers who first spotted this guy driving his car this evening. There was a short pursuit, but then a foot chase over backyard fences. Officers eventually penned this guy in and took him down. Take a look. A murder suspect is taken into custody after a 90-minute standoff in a North Hollywood backyard. He had been under surveillance for a period of time. Uh, I think he was uh, attempting to flee and elude the officers, and that's why he ended up in the area here near Laurel Canyon and Victory. Once the guy had ditched his car after it crashed, he took off on foot. He ran down the street here along Laurel Canyon Boulevard. The first fence he jumped over, he confronted a resident who was in their backyard. An altercation was kind of starting to brew up, and then he fled to another yard. A homeowner spotted the suspect in his backyard and locked his doors, then came out front to notify police. His wife and his daughter quickly evacuated as well. Meanwhile, Edward Ferguson was hunkering down just across the street. Luckily, I have three pit bulls, so I felt like I was kind of safe. I knew my wife was going to be upset when she got home. Officers eventually had the suspect trapped down this walkway in a detached shed and used beanbag rounds and the threats of a dog bite to coax him out. But that didn't work, so about 7 o'clock they deployed gas. We used uh, multiple different um, techniques to try to talk him out, but he never responded to any of the attempts to talk him out over the last couple of hours. Within minutes of the gas, the barefoot suspect was cuffed and being led onto the street. I'm just grateful that nobody got hurt. Zenzi Poindexter was watching it unfold from her front window. It's kind of shocking. I mean, I know we live in a large metropolis and these sort of things happen every day, but you don't expect it in your neighborhood.